Alter. As gold in the furnace, the Lord put his chosen to the test. As the sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. And in due time, they will be honored. Set and grace and peace will be there with the, action, with the elect of God. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, Gracia Domini Nostri, Jesu Christi et Caritas Dei, Communicatio Sancti Spiritus Sitcom Omnibus Vobis. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done, what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Oremus. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield to an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, may grace and peace be yours in abundance through knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. The divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion. Through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. Through these he's bestowed on us the precious and very real promises so that through them you may come to share in the divine nature. After escaping from the corruption that is in the world because of evil desire. For this reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, virtue with knowledge, knowledge with self-control, self-control with endurance, endurance with devotion, devotion with mutual affection, mutual affection with love. Verbum Domini. In you, my God, I place my trust. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Because he clings to me, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he acknowledges my name. He called upon me and I will answer him. I will be, I will be with him in distress. I will deliver him and, and glorify him. With length of days I will gratify him and will show him my salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Jesus 
Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, you have loved us and freed us by, from our sins by your blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Dominus Rubiscum, Lexio Sancte Evangelii Segundum Markum. Jesus sent, began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, and dug a wine press and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenant farmers and left on a journey. At the proper time, he sent a servant to the, to the tenants to obtain from them some of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him, beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. Again, he sent them another servant, that one they beat over the head and treated shamefully. He sent another whom they killed. So too many others, some had beat, others they killed. He had, one, he had one other to send the beloved son. He sent them to them, laughed of all, thinking they'll respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, This is the heir, come let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him and killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come and put the tenants to death and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read the scripture passage, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone? By the Lord this has been done and it's wonderful in our eyes. They were seeking to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, for they realized that he had addressed the parable to them. So they left him and went away. Verbum Domini. There's a scripture passage, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that says, Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of the one who sent me. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, scripture is not just about talking the talk, it's about walking the walk, right? I mean, there is some obedience here. I mean, we need to understand Jesus. We need to understand scripture. I mean, look at, look at the, the Pharisees, right? The Pharisees knew, right? The, the Pharisees knew. These, these men were not stupid. They were not ignorant of the Old Testament, right? And it said that they knew that he had addressed this parable to them. They knew. They, see, they knew. So, I mean, think this out. They knew that the tenants were them. Not only them. But the prophets, all right, the, the prophets, it was the, who, the men, their, their ancestors, and Jesus talks about this more than once, condemns the Pharisees, the leaders of the Jews, for killing the prophets of the Old Testament, for killing them and beating them and persecuting them, right? And, and, and this is the point of this. And so they know, they know who Jesus is talking about. They know that they're talking about the, 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 the men, their ancestors who killed or, or persecuted all the prophets of the Old Testament. And that Jesus is looking at them and condemning them because now I'm the son, right? I'm the son of the, of the, uh, of the, the vineyard owner. And you want to kill me too. And they did. They wanted to kill him. They did kill him. But they knew that. They knew they were plotting to kill Jesus. And you'd think not one of them. They'd say, wait a second. Wait a second. We're sitting around plotting to kill him. He knows we're plotting to kill him. He's quoting scripture to us. Scripture seems to be coming fulfilled. What, what are we doing? He's raising people from the dead. He's curing the sick. He's casting out demons. What are we doing? Maybe we should give him the benefit of the doubt. See, they all understood. They were not ignorant. They just were willful. Willful, arrogant. They did not want to embrace the truth that they knew. 
And so it is today. I mean, I see it everywhere. And I see it at times in me. We want to do what we want to do when we want to do it. But in the greater church, in regards to the Holy Father, in regards to the church, we have people who, do, who they don't they don't want to embrace Jesus, the truth. They complain about everything in the church. They complain about the Pope. They complain about the magisterium. They complain about the mass. They complain about the abuses. They complain about the homosexuality. They complain about how we receive communion. They complain about everything, and yet they don't lift a finger for the poor. They'll complain about abortion and complain that the Pope doesn't do enough about abortion, yet they don't do enough. They don't do enough. Nobody's doing enough. I mean, we have a faith that's supposed to be lived. Every second of every day. And if we don't, we are to, to repent. Do reparation. But yet we go through our faithful lives, our faithful lives, I put that in, in quotation marks because we think we're faithful. Looking down on everyone. But believe me, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we ease our consciences every single day by looking at other people who are better than us in the faith. Instead of saying, what more do I need to do? What more do I need to do? How can I be more devoted to Jesus? How can I be more obedient to Jesus? How can I live in Christ's mercy and share his mercy with others? How can I pour myself out more for the poor, the unborn, the poor, the sick, the thirsty, the naked, the homeless, the hungry, the imprisoned? This, I think, my brothers and sisters in Christ should be our reflection for today. I remember Jesus began to speak to the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders Right? And they knew he addressed the parable to them. Jesus was calling them thieves, murderers, villainous. I mean, it's... And they knew. And, and no, did they deny it? They, it's not us. They knew. And they thought that just by killing him, the inheritance would be theirs. And so we, we often think the same thing, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that we can do anything we want to do when we want to do it, believe what we want to believe, do what we want to do, and the inheritance will be ours. We need to repent. We need to repent and we need to do reparation every single day. Let us ask our Father in heaven to shed his mercy on all of our needs. For all the particular intentions we hold in our hearts, the intentions of all those attending this Mass, the health intentions of Elizabeth, Aramogosti, Anastasia, Patty, Kelly, Our personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial intentions, the intentions of all those we said we would pray for, including those who may forget to pray for, for the intentions of those praying for us, encourage us, support us each day to repose in the soul of John and Barato. Archbishop Michael Sheehan, all the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them, in particular our deceased loved ones and family members. We ask for this. We ask for all good things through the intercession of Charles Luanga and his martyred companions, St. Padre Pio, St. Joseph, the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the angels, martyrs, and saints, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness ever see the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted, God the Almighty Father. O God, who made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than the sin, so you may bring us the minister of your altar in dedication to you alone through Christ our Lord. Dominos Frobiscum, Sorsum Corda, Gracias Agimus Domino Deo Nostro. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyrs, Charles Luanga, and, and companions, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, meant to willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fide. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray to partake in the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For ipsum and con ipso and an ipso is tibi deo patri omnipotenti and unitate spiritus sancti. Amas in all glory upon the secula seculorum. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our days. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grace you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Pax Domino sit semper fabiscum, Agnus Dei. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. On Amos, we have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray. Make us in the face of trial, steadfast in faith and charity, through Christ our Lord. Dominos, Robiscum, Benedicta Vos, Omnipotens Deus, Pater Filius Spiritus Sanctus, Ita Misa Es. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness. Snares of the devil, may God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Thank you for joining us today, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm sorry I'm late today. I'm not going to get into the whole why I'm late issue, but Father Imbrato Live is coming up soon. Please stay with us. I love you. Just pray for me. I'll pray for you. Please, protestchildkilling.com, protestchildkilling.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. And go out to the world today, my friends, and give them heaven.